Subtraction. Balance the equation. We see here the problem 7 minus something equals 9 minus 4. Well, first we need to solve this problem here. 9 minus 4. And then we'll be able to figure out what number should go in this box. What is 9 minus 4? Well, if that's a little difficult, we can always look to the string of beads. Let's count to 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we cross off 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many beads are left over? Yes, 5. 9 minus 4 equals 5. Now, what would you minus from 7 to equal 5? Well, you could also think of it as first, or what do you add to 5 that equals 7? Yes, 2. 5 plus 2 equals 7. So what about 7 minus 2? That equals then 5. So you know that 7 minus 2 equals 5 which also equals 9 minus 4. Let's do another one. 10 minus something equals 12 minus 4. Okay, let's first solve 12 minus 4. 5, 10, 11, 12. And let's cross off 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What do we have left over? Well, 5, 6, 7, 8. 12 minus 4 equals 8. All right, so what should go in this box here? We need it to equal 8. Well, what would you add to 8 to equal 10? We'll add 1 is 9, and then another 1 would be 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 10 minus 2 would then equal 8. You know that it's 10 minus 2, which equals 12 minus 4, which equals 8. Let's do one more. 21 minus something equals 24 minus 7. Okay, bigger number here. Let's count to 24. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And now we cross off 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many do you have left over? Well, 5... 10, 15, 16, 17. 24 minus 7 equals 17. All right, so we need to figure out what you would subtract from 21 to equal 17. All right, well, what would you add to 17 to equal 21? Well, to get to 20, you would add 3. So one more is 4. So 17 plus 4 equals 21. And now if we subtract 4 from 21, we get 17. So the answer is 21 minus 4 equals 24 minus 7. Great work solving these problems, and I hope to see you again soon.